Hey there guys, I'm Zach and this is Zach's Editing and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use files and photos in Photoshop and be able to scale them down really small and back up and not actually lose any of the quality. So I'll quickly show you what it looks like if you scale it down normally. Okay, so here I have two images. I have the background layer, uh, which is just simply that. And then I also have this layer that we're going to sort of scale down and back up just to see what it looks like. So if we scale this down, it still looks fine. And we'll just, uh, just, yep. And we'll just hit the tick just to say, okay. But now if we scale it back up and we hit the tick, you can see that it's lost a lot of its quality. And if you want to be able to be moving and scaling them down and back up without having to lose the quality like this and without the fear of losing the quality, I'll show you guys how you can do that. So I'll just quickly delete this and import it again. Okay, so we have the image here again. It's as layer one. And so what you want to do is right click. So click it in this rectangle bit, not on the image, but in the actual rectangle. And then you go to convert to smart object. So now you've clicked that, you'll see this little icon right here, which pretty much just means that it's a smart object. And then if I actually double click on the image here, we can actually go into the Photoshop object, the smart object. So now if I just say put some text in, I'll just write Crow, very original. And then we'll just hit Control S just to save the object. So whenever we uh, want to update it, we have to save it. And then if we go in here, you can see that it's automatically updated. And if we actually move this layer, um, then it will stay there. But that's not what we're here for. Uh, we're here for the scaling down and not losing quality. So now that it's a uh, smart object, you can scale it down. Oh, that went out of portion. Oh, well, we'll just hit the tick and then we'll scale it back up and put it into proportion, hit the tick, and you can see that it's perfect quality. Once again, I'll put it into a very small, normally you'd be losing quality here, and I'll bring it back up, and it's perfectly fine. So I'll just go through that once again. So what you want to do is open up your photo, right click around where it says layer, go to convert to smart object, and now that it's a smart object, you can scale it down and up and not lose any quality like before if it wasn't a smart object. So thanks for watching, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, you can check out any other tutorials on my channel if you want to learn anything else. But apart from that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.